from here. And if you want to learn how to upgrade the firmware for your Canon CRN500, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz here with Amaze Studios, and today I'm going to cover the firmware update for the Canon CRN500. And the only reason why I'm checking this out is because I'm having some audio issues. So if we take a look at my um, CRN500, you can see that it's picking up my microphone. I'll clap, check one, two. But in, if you look in the ATEM, it's not coming through. Now I switched my microphone to the, uh, my second camera and it is coming through. I'm not sure why. I saw that there's a firmware update on the Canon website. So if you search for the CRN500 and you go to drivers and downloads and go to the firmware, there's firmware version 1.1.3. And if you take a look at my camera under the system settings under maintenance and go to update firmware, I'm on version 1.1.0. So let's go ahead and upgrade the firmware. And I'm going to do everything by, I'm not going to restore it. I'm going to restore the default settings. And I'll go ahead and download the firmware. So let's go ahead and select this. And let's, so I'll go ahead and download this firmware and say that I have read and agreed to the terms. Let's see if there's any details here. Download to the folder, extract files, and read me. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this. Allow to download. Check out the read me in English. So update the firmware from the camera settings page. And here's some history. It looks like I skipped 1.1.1, fixed a bug with blue lines and some other issues. And then this one fixed a bug on a preset settings and trace function, improved autofocus accuracy, and improved synchronization of video and audio during long time playback. Fixed a bug that a camera will stop when with using some controllers and minor bug fixes. All right, that looks good to me. So let's go ahead and close this out. Go into my first camera and let's look for the file. Go to the CRN 500 bin. Click on Upload and Execute. Update the firmware. The update takes a while. Do not turn off the power during the update. Okay. It is rebooting. Okay, it looked like it just finished rebooting. Let's see if it got the same IP address. Oh, here it goes. The firmware update succeeded. Let's go ahead and click on close. All right, so I'm gonna switch this to back to 29.97. And the reason why I'm switching it to 29.97 is because 4K will not become available unless it's at that frame rate. Because our 4K does not support frame rates of 59.94 or 60 frames per second. So let's give it a second to reboot and my Atmos is showing that it's at HD 29.97. So what I'm gonna do is once this page becomes available again, I'll go ahead and switch that back to 4K. Uh, what I do is I use the Atmos Ninja to record in 4K, have that output to HD to go to my live stream. So let's go to system, audio and video, and let's switch that over to 4K and apply. Now it's at 4K. Switch over the audio and let's go with the microphone here and click on apply. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. So I see the audio coming through and I see the audio on, on my Atomos, but I do not see it on my ATEM. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and record. Check, one, two, one, two. And then I see it recording on my Atmos. And if I play that back, okay. All right, so it's weird. It, it, it only 
transmits the audio when it plays back, which is really odd. All right, so that concludes the firmware update. I'm not sure what's going on with the audio where it doesn't play back on the ATEM while it's recording, but it plays back when you're playing back the recording from the Atomos Ninja from the Canon CRN500. Well, I'll go ahead and conclude the firmware update section. If you're new to my channel, I cover live streaming technology in general, so please consider subscribing and hitting like on the way out. Thanks for watching.